Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Casey. This video is part two of my sigil inspired the Languid Chestnut Toad eyeshadow palette. If you missed part one, I'll have it linked in the description box below. That video is more informational talking about the brand and what they have to offer as well as the inspiration behind this eyeshadow palette. I also did live swatches of the palette in the other video. For these three looks, we're gonna be focusing primarily on the eyeshadow. So the rest of the makeup I'll be wearing will be listed in the description box below if you're interested. Sigil Inspired also specifically says this palette is meant to be a companion palette. So I did have both of my Viseart Neutral Matte palettes on hand in case I needed different shades. The shades I used that weren't in the Languid Chestnut Toad palette were pretty neutral. I'm sure even if you have one eyeshadow palette, you have similar shades so you can easily replicate these looks regardless. There'll be timestamps in the description box for you so you can jump around and watch whatever looks you're most interested in. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know which look is your favorite. I've already applied my Milani eyeshadow primer, so I'm just going to set it with the white matte shade in my Viseart Neutral Mattes eyeshadow palette. You don't have to do this. I think just having a primed blank canvas gets my creative flow going, so skip this step if you'd like. I'm then going in with tape, and I'm going to use my nose as a guide to place the tape to create a wing. It usually takes me a few tries to place the tape so it's even on both sides, so take your time with this step. I'm then dipping back into my Viseart palette, and I'm taking this cool tone, mid-tone brown shade. And I'm going to start laying that on the outer corner of my eyelid. Remember, the tape is there as a guide, so feel free to pack it on to create a nice wing. I'm then dipping into the Languid Chestnut Toad palette, and I'm using shade 092. And then I'm going to blend that into the shadow I just laid down to create a bit of a gradient. I'm then going in with my Arcelli Black Gel Eyeliner, and I'm going to create a wing right along the tape on both sides. Any gel eyeliner will be fine. I prefer gel for creating the look we're doing because you have a little bit of working time to really blend it out and create a smoky effect. I also like that gel liner stays tacky for a bit, so I'm going back into the Languid Chestnut Toad palette and I'm using shade 090. It's like a metallic dirty green and I'm going to lay that on top of the black liner I just blended out. Nice and smoky. And then going back into the shade 092 and I'm just going to lightly dust that in the center of my lid just to ensure there's no harsh lines and that everything is well blended. Then using an eyeshadow applicator, I'm dipping that in shade 093. I'm gonna run that all over my eyelid. If you don't like using eyeshadow applicators, feel free to use your finger. You can use a brush, but I find this shade works better with a, a finger or something more dense like an eyeshadow applicator. I'm then going in with a clean blending brush and I'm just running that through my crease just to ensure there's no harsh lines. I wanted to add a little bit of warmth to this look, so I'm using the orange matte shade in my Viseart palette and using that clean blender brush I was just using. I'm going to dab just a little bit of that in my crease, just a little bit to warm up the look. Trace is sitting in my lap and he keeps pawing at me because he wants me to play with him. Time for mascara. Since I want this look to be dramatic, I am going to be using my Lancome Lash Primer and my Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. Next, I'm going in with my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner and I'm just going to line my upper waterline. I'm not often particular about the types of brushes I use, which is why I don't often mention my brushes, but for this specific liner technique, I like using my Morphe M508 brush. It's just the perfect size and shape for lining your waterline with gel liner. Next, I'm gonna take the tape off for the great reveal. I'm gonna start by dusting off as much loose powder as I can, and then I'm going in with concealer as I normally would, but I'm also going to bring it close to that wing and really shape and define that outer wing with my concealer brush. Since my lid look is pretty dark and vampy, I want my lower lash line to be bright and open, so I'm going in back into my Viseart palette with a cream matte shade. I'm gonna dust that along my lower lash line. Then I'm applying mascara to my lower lashes. Next, I'm taking my e.l.f. shadow stick in the shade Perfect Pearl, and I'm going to dab that in the inner corner of my eyes and then carefully blend it out with my finger. I want it to be bright and metallic, but not super harsh. I'm then dipping back into the Languid Chestnut Toad palette into the shade 095, and using a very fluffy pencil brush, I'm just going to dab that shade on top of the shadow stick I just laid down. And again, I don't want it to be very harsh. I want it to be a subtle, bright metallic, so I'm really spending some time to blend it out and buff it all over in the inner corner of my eye, even into that little nook between the nose bridge and the inner corner of the eye. I'm then going back in with a fluffy blender brush just to ensure there's no harsh lines throughout my crease. The shade 093 all over my lid isn't quite as bright and metallic as I'm wanting, so I'm going in with my NYX Pigment Primer and I'm going to lay that down on the center of my lid. And then with my eyeshadow applicator again, I'm going back in with the shade 093 and putting that on top. 
that really made the shade pop and that shift so much more vibrant. Next, I'm taking my NYX Epic Ink Liner in the shade Black and really defining the wing. And we have the completed look. For look two, I've already primed my eyelids with my Milani eyeshadow primer, so I'm going in with my Viseart palette into a cream shade and just using that to set my primer. Again, not a necessary step. Feel free to skip this if you'd like. For this look, we're going to be keeping the lid light and bright and the lower lash line smoky. So to start, I'm dipping into the Languid Chestnut Toad palette into shade 092 and I'm using my Morphe M431 brush. I really like using this brush for smoking out my lower lash line because it's nice and thin but still dense enough to really pack on shadow. I'm only going to pack on shadow on the outer half of my lower lash line. I forgot to hit record on my camera, but I just took a mid-tone brown shade from my Viseart palette and dust that through my crease. Next, I'm taking my e.l.f. shadow stick in the shade Perfect Pearl, and I'm going to run that all over both of my eyelids, and then I'm going to smudge it out with my finger. I'm then taking the shade 095 from the Languid Chestnut Toad palette and using an eyeshadow applicator. I'm going to run that all over the shadow stick I just laid down. The shadow stick is acting like a tacky primer, but I also like that it has that pearl metallic reflect that's really going to add to the overall vibrancy of the shadow. I'm then running my blender brush through my crease to ensure everything's well blended. Next it's time for mascara. I'm going into my Lancome Mansour Big mascara yet again. I'm then taking my Araceli black gel liner and I'm going to lower my lower lash line, just the outer third, and then using my pinky I'm carefully blending it out because I want it to be dark and smoky, not harsh. I'm then carefully winging out to my lower lash line. Just like a regular wing, but instead of having it attached to the upper lash line, I'm winging it out from the lower lash line. It doesn't have to be perfect and precise because we're going to be smoking it out and cleaning it up as we go on. I'm then going back into the Languid Chestnut Toad palette in shade 092, and with my e.l.f. smudge brush, I'm gently tapping that onto the liner I just laid down. Next, I'm taking my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in black and lining my upper lash line. And then rather than dipping back into the pot, I'm using whatever's left over on my brush and gently lining my lower lash line. I'm just barely kissing my lash line here, but I wanted to add just a little bit more depth. Next, I'm going in with my Ofra bronzer and running that through my crease because I wanted to warm up the look a little bit, but I wanted to keep it natural, so I thought my bronzer would be best for this. Next, I'm taking the shade 095 and with a dense fluffy pencil brush, I'm gonna dust that on my inner corner and again in that little nook between the nose bridge and the inner corner of the eye. I'm really spending time blending this in because I want it to be very reflective, very light, very airy, very ethereal looking, not harsh. Next, I'm taking the blender brush I used with my bronzer and running that through my crease again just to make sure everything's well blended. Now, I just couldn't help myself, I had to add a little bit of sparkle, so I'm taking my e.l.f. liquid glitter shadow in the shade Flirty Birdie, and I'm putting just a little bit on the inner corner of my eye and using my finger to blend it out to the center of my lid. Lastly, I'm taking my Essence liner in the shade Silky Nude to line my lower waterline. After a little bronzer, highlight, and lip gloss, we have the completed look. For our last look, I'm going to start by using tape to create a wing using my nose as a guide. Again, it usually takes me a few times to get the tape even on both sides, so take your time with this. Next, I'm going in with my Ofra Matte Bronzer and running that through my crease. I'm then going into the Languid Chestnut Toad Palette in shade 094 and laying that all over my crease and on the outer corner of my eye. Really make sure you pack it on over the tape so that you create a nice wing. Next, I'm going in with my Nabla Cupid Zero Eyeliner in shade number 7. It's a red-brown liner. I'm going to run that along the edge of the tape to create a wing, and then I'm going to blend it out with a pencil brush. I love these eyeliners. They're so creamy and so easy to work with. 
I noticed as I was doing this, it was making the eyeshadow kind of patchy. This happens sometimes with certain eyeshadow formulas. So to clean it up, I just went back in with my blender brush with the shade 094 and patted that on top. And that evened everything out. Next, I'm going in with my e.l.f. eyeshadow stick in the shade Perfect Pearl, and I'm going to tap that on the inner corner of my eye and then carefully blend it out with my pinky finger. Again, the shadow stick is acting like a tacky base, but I like that it's going to add a metallic sheen underneath the shadow we're going to lay on top. Then with a fluffy pencil brush, I'm going in the shade 091, this metallic green sheen shadow, and I'm going to lay that right on top of the shadow stick I just laid down. Next, it's time for mascara. Since I tried to keep the rest of my makeup the same for all three of these looks, I'm going in with my Lancome Lash Primer and the Monster Big Mascara. Now it's time to pull the tape off for the great reveal. This is my first time using the palette, and for as pigmented as the shadows are, I was surprised by how little fallout I had. As you can see, there's not much fallout on my cheeks when I take the tape off. I'm going back in with my Nabla Cupid Zero Liner, and I'm going to line the lower third of my lower lash line and carefully blend it out with my pinky. Next, I'm going to line my upper waterline with my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner, and I'm going to put a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes. Then I'm going in with concealer as I normally would, paying extra special attention to really defining the wing. Next, I'm going in with my NYX Epic Ink Liner in the shade Black, and I'm going to create a wing, just lining the outer third of my upper lash line. I really wanted that green to pop a little bit more, so I dipped a Q-tip in the shade 091, and I'm using that to really pack in shadow in my inner corners. Then to make the gradient in the center of my lids really pop, I patted my finger in the shade 091 and I'm lightly tapping that right in the center of my lids. I felt like the look was missing something, so I decided to take my Nabla Cupid Zero liner again and line my lower waterline. Since this shade is so warm, almost a red brown liner, I was worried I was going to ruin the entire look with this, but I think it's exactly what it needed. It really added that vampy smoky edge I was looking for. Next, I'm taking a clean flat shader brush and running that along my lower lash line just to make sure everything's well blended. And after a little bronzer, highlighter, and a lip, we have the completed look.